good morning you guys welcome back to another week in my life it is 7 30 in the morning oh it's actually 7 38 right now it's kind of late but i just got to my clinical site i'm a tad bit early i got here at like 7 20 but they don't open till 8 i don't start till 8 but it's quite far from my house and I have to take a really busy road. So I was really nervous that I was gonna run into traffic, but I did not, <laughs> of course. And now I'm gonna like push back my time to leave and I'm gonna run into traffic. You know, that always happens. But anyway, this is the first day of my pediatric clinicals. Um, first day of my last clinicals of NP school ever. I'm very excited and very nervous. Um, I'm actually very nervous, <laughs> very nervous. I'm just hoping that I don't know my um, preceptor, but I'm hoping that it goes well, that she's super kind and nice. And I really don't want to do anything today. I just want to like watch her interact with the kids. I want to hold some babies. I have something in my eye. Anyway, I, I just want to like follow her around and see what she does and see like, yeah, I need to get a feel of everything. I don't I don't know what I'm doing quite yet. So yeah, that is the update. I'm gonna be here until five today. And then the plan is to go home, go to the gym, and then um sorry, go to the gym, then go home. Do probably I don't really have any homework that I need to do yet. I got a head start on studying. I do have my first class tomorrow. My class is at 9 a.m. So we're just on an early schedule this semester, but that's okay. I'd rather be off in the afternoon. So yeah, day one of clinicals. I will update you at 5 p.m. And hopefully everything went really well. <laughs> Hello, you guys. I'm sorry if the lighting's kind of bad. I just finished up at the gym. I'm about to go home. Um, I freaking loved my pediatric clinic. Amazing, like had the best day ever I just loved like the children the cute babies like they're all so cute like so freaking cute I had a great time my preceptor is great she's just super chill and good at explaining things she's a nurse practitioner so I feel like she understands the process more of NP school and she was just she was great and I just had a really good time the clinic that I'm at serves um, more of the underserved population. And so we see a lot of Medicaid patients and that was really fulfilling. And I just found that the patients, the families, the moms and dads were so nice and so appreciative and honestly just had a great time. And that's like life changing for me. <laughs> Not really, but it's, I'm so glad that I chose family NP because I have so many options. Like I said, I told you guys before, like I think I want to do cardiology, but I also love aesthetics. And now I think I love peds and doing my degree allows me to do all of those things without being tied down to one profession. And that's what I love about it the most. And I'm, I feel very fulfilled today. Very excited, very happy. So thank you guys for, I don't know, I'm just feeling good. So thank you guys for being on this journey. I, I'm feeling very thankful. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but great day. Um, tomorrow is my first day of peds class and I'm excited for that. Um, and yeah, great day. Going home, we're gonna make some dinner. I'm really, really hungry. I'm so excited to see my dogs because I've missed them all day and we are currently binge watching Survivor season 30. So, very exciting evening ahead of me. Tuesday morning, it's 8.03, I need to leave at 
I'm not dressed, but I'm making myself some breakfast really quick. Um, I have class at nine and I need to be a little bit early because it's always good to be early. Um, but yeah, today is just kind of a busy day. I won't be home at all, which kind of sucks because I'm going to be gone from like for a full 12 hours. Um, I have class from 9.15 to, or 9 to 12.15, and then I have a graduation meeting from 6 to 8, but I'm getting dinner with some friends, one of them graduated, and then the other one, me, her and I are doing peds together, so we're going to do dinner because my other friend who graduated got a, like, an amazing job, and I'm so proud of her, I'm jealous, but I'm so proud of her. And so she starts in August and she's going to be moving away um, just in Florida, but so proud of her. Literally the job offer is amazing. So we're going to celebrate that at four. So I have like a, like a small window, a couple hour window in there. I think I'm going to like go to a coffee shop, sit down and work on a project that I have to do next week. It's one that I've told you guys about, but I just need some clarification in class today regarding it. So We'll do that, but I need to get dressed because we gotta go. All right, you guys. I know the lighting's bad, so I'm sorry, but I just got out of class and it was a really good class. My teacher for peds is just chef's kiss. She's so good. We didn't look at one PowerPoint the whole time. It was all interactive and that's like a great learning environment is for somebody like me. I get so bored. It didn't even feel like the class was three hours long. So she's amazing and very good class already, but I'm going to head to a coffee shop, get some lunch and work on my, um, presentation that's due next week. And yeah, get some coffee, hang out until four because at four I'm gonna go meet my friends for a little early dinner celebration yeah I'm excited we're going to Starbucks because I have a gift card get a break from people and noises and like I don't know I just like it I don't feel like it why am I explaining that like I don't need to explain that but I had a good morning we I think we saw one two three four five six seven people this morning which is a lot but better than Monday on Monday I think we saw 10 people in the morning so this was a bit slower. Um, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it more. It's just with each um, population, with each specialization um, and rotation that I do, I have to get a hang of history questions that are specific to that population. So, you know, for the pediatric population, it's more like, are you eating okay? Are you sleeping okay? Are you going to the bathroom okay? Things that I mean, we ask stuff like that in primary care, but not like, it's more like, how are you dealing with this? Are you coping? Are you getting enough rest at night? You know, it's just a little different. Um, how's your developmental, like, how's your development going in peds? Can you draw a circle? Can you tell me what color that is? So, and like what age groups, obviously like growth and development. So I'm getting used to that, but it's going well. I'm really tired. I did not sleep well last night. 
So my lunch is accompanied by a Celsius, but everything's good. We're all good. I just got to the gym and um, Seth is meeting me here, but he brought me a cookie from Bacon Babes. If you live in the Tampa area, Bacon Babes has a bunch of, they make the best cookies. They're so good. And their chocolate chip cookies and their um, brownies are vegan. They're so good. So he's bringing me one. This can be my pre-workout. So I see his car coming up. Bad. Wait, my staff and security team, we appreciate it. Who's that? Oh, oh my God. <gasps> How did you resist that all day? I didn't look at it. I'm so excited. This is a I took a nap today in my car. <laughs> During lunch time. What do you even do? <laughs> I'm so tired. It's amazing. I don't know what this one tastes like though. Yes, you do. Just, take, just pick up the brownie and take a bite. Mm -hmm. It's brownie with blondie on the bottom. That's unreal. Is it better than the cookies? Like, would you rather have that over a cookie? Let me take another bite and see. Yeah, sure, <laughs> <need> another one. <laughs> it's freaking huge, too. This is the same cookie on the bottom. Just a different color. And this is oh, like that this is cookie. The cookie on the, the bottom. cookie on the bottom. Oreo in the middle. Oreo, brownie. brownie. On top with a drizzle. It's so good. I'm just more of a cookie person. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take this. Amazing. That's the nicest gift anybody could give you. Was that specifically for you or did you just take that box? No, there was like, and they had a Fruity Pebble one too up there. The Fruity Pebble one isn't vegan. Oh, it's not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they had a box, she had bought a Just got home. I'm sorry if you can hear the boys eating in the background, but we got some Chipotle for dinner. We didn't have the freaking vinaigrette. Why is that always a thing with Chipotle? This might be, I don't know, controversial. I used to love Chipotle. Absolutely obsessed with it. Like, end of high school, all through college. And then where I lived in Chattanooga, um, after college and during college, we didn't have a Chipotle there. They got one like after we moved here. And I was obsessed. It was so good. It was always a treat when I got it. But Chipotles have just gone downhill, in my opinion in the last couple of years like i go in there and they don't have vinaigrette i'm like well you, are you guys making vinaigrette it's 6 p.m it's not like they're closing for four hours and i know people are under staff and stuff so maybe that's why that's probably why whatever i just i mean even before like the understaffing thing was a problem i feel like the chipotles have gone downhill just my two cents I'm gonna eat this. I'm so hungry. Some chips. I barely left me any dang chips. But I'm gonna eat. Take the dog in the walk. Shower. You guys know the drill. <laughs> In a minute um i'm so tired it's thursday night actually it's eight o'clock and i'm very fatigued <laughs> i'm like i don't even know where to begin because i don't know the last time that i said anything but i mean i know it was yesterday but i don't know like what was the scenario around it but i did clinicals today went to the gym got home we made a really quick dinner and just finished taking the dogs for a walk and then seth is going to pick up um some family that's coming into town for a wedding this weekend so that's nice um i'm just watching survivor i think i've told you guys that i'm just binge watching season 30 of survivor but yeah today was a good day 
Um, and I really have nothing else to say besides I'm so tired and I'm so fatigued and I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's gonna be kind of a weird day. Um, I'm only doing a half a day at clinicals because uh, my preceptor is only there for half a day and then I have to go to Orlando, which my clinical site is halfway in between Tampa and Orlando, so it kind of works out, but I have to go to Orlando because the rehearsal dinner is for this wedding that we are going to this weekend is um it, it is tomorrow night in orlando so i'm going from clinicals there i'm gonna sit at a coffee shop do some studying um and kind of finish up the powerpoint that is due next week and all that stuff until um the rehearsal dinner but it kind of sucks because i have to literally pack everything i have to pack like a dress and clothes and makeup. I'm not doing my hair or anything. I don't know where I would do it at anyway, but it just sucks to be so on the go. Like I will be gone from my house tomorrow for so long. Um, and it's like Friday night and I'm tired and it's been a really long week, but anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna shower soon. I'm still in my workout clothes. I know it's disgusting, but I just have no energy to do anything right now. I just finished the dishes. But after this episode of Survivor, I'm gonna go shower, wind down for the night. Hey, bugs. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. I'm in the car because um, it is Seth's birthday today. So I picked him up some donuts to celebrate and I'm headed back home. His family is home, so I got a dozen donuts. And they're all like vegan ones. They're from, if you live in the Tampa area, they're from Nicola's Donuts. They're really good, highly recommend. And they do regular and vegan. But anyway, I'm just headed home right now. I wanted to end this vlog because it's the end of the week. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one next week that um, what am I doing next week? Uh, the same, same thing, except I have to work in the hospital next week. So, it'll be an interesting week. We'll see how I do everything my presentation is due. I have to present. So, yeah, we'll see. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.